Hello YouTube, for your reviewing pleasure tonight, I have the Ravel release of the 1978 Chevy El Camino Lowrider 3-in-1. Um, so this gives you a chance to do stock customer lowrider. So let's take a look around the box. Starting here on the side, you see a picture of the completed lowrider model. Again, here on this, same as the box art, with kit number 852979. Sorry about that. And then showing you the three different options that you can build it up to be. There. In fact, on the bottom, it shows a little bit more detailed information. So you have the lowrider version, you have your stock version, and then you have your custom camper version. It just has a uh, camper back on it. So nice to see a couple of different options. And even within the engine bay themselves, you can do a couple of different things. Uh, actually supercharge this one here. So go ahead and get this opened up. Grab out our instructions down here at the bottom and we'll take a look at what we got. Right, so decals out of the way. Arrange here a little bit. Alright, so we have a little bit of information on the 78 Chevy Camino. Do that at your leisure. We'll go ahead and open it up though and keep going. So we have the three different wheel options. As to which one you want. It's going to be your preference. Putting those onto the rear suspension, which you have a higher suspension or lower suspension set here for the low rider to really drop it down to the ground. Have our engine, which is pretty basic I mean you know, standard V8 American engine so do have some additional items here if you wanted to do the custom version with the uh, supercharger or turbo on that have our interior buckets going in all of the seats putting our glass into place and then once that is, we'll be putting the body onto the frame and then finishing up the frame with the front bumpers, the sliding down the radiator assembly into place. And then depending on which hood or which option you want, which hood you're going to go with. Then we have for the back bed, if you're doing the lowrider version, we have the series of batteries as well as the hydraulic pumps putting the rear tailgate together and attaching that, assembling the rear camper top if you wanted, or a tonneau cover, again, giving you options. And then final assembly, optional antennas, uh, mirrors for the side, and then your paint call out for a decal placement for the low rider version, or for the stock slash custom version. So definitely a lot of options in this thing. These kits are a little bit difficult to come by. As you can see we have our lowrider graphics up here on top. We have the Black Knight down there. For our stock version here and then our custom version there. So again, just giving you some different options as to what you want to do. And set the bag of bits out to the side. We'll grab our chrome tree first here. So we have nice stock wheels here. Have our hydraulic pumps, front uh, front grills, bumpers. All of that. Then have our gold plated chrome tree. Which is pretty obligatory at this point with all the rider kits pretty much they all had the same tree have one piece that fell out of the bag which is one of our exhausts have two sets of tires we have our dunlop low rider tires here and then the stock goodyears i believe yep goodyear tires 
We can actually build those good years up and put them in a spares bin or build up the Dunlops, put those in a spares bin, whichever one uh, you don't use. So we'll go ahead and crack open the seal in the bag. Setting the parts way out of the way. Actually, one last part I'll go ahead and grab out of the main box itself, which is our glass piece. So we've got the really complex curve there on the back. Glue there. And then for the camper, right there. Alright, double check. If that was it. All right. So we then have the main body. Pretty standard stock Camino body. We have our interior tub here and our chassis, which has the molded in exhaust pipe, which you could, which you may like or hate. Hosing. Have here our battery rack and the lowered rear suspension. And front suspension, I should say, as well for the low rider. Seeing that this will have that open rear deck might be a neat thing to go through and really super detail out the hydraulic pumps, the hoses, and things like that. Might be a neat way to just kind of do a little extra to this thing. So we have our dashboard there, wheelbacks. Stock front and rear suspension, stock wheel backs, bumper there. We have our tenu cover, which does have a lot, a little bit of plastic fuzz there. Uh, it does have very deep ejector pins, as you can see. I mean, those things are deep, uh, but they're all proud, so those should uh, come off very easily. Of part of our exhaust there, it's about ready to fall off. Our hood has no interior detail on the inside, and then there's the outside. But really nice detail on the tenu cover. Really nice stretched fabric look. And then we have our custom hood here, that air intake for the turbo, and our camper. So that has been a look at the Ravel release of the 1978 El Camino 3-in-1 Lowrider Custom and Stock version. Hope you've enjoyed the review. Have a wonderful rest of your day.